There's a monster in your pocket. And not some run-of-the-mill CR2 monster either. No, a full-on CR26 demon lurks in your pocket. And not just any demon, the Prince of Demons. Yep, the Demogorgon lives in your pocket. And here's some advantage for the next time you fight it. Demogorgon, iconic monster of Dungeons and Dragons. Demogorgon, sweetheart of Stranger Things. Demogorgon, arguably the most powerful demon of the abyss. Demogorgon, otherwise known as your cell phone. Crazy, I know, but hang tight and you'll see that thinking of your phone as the Demogorgon might not be such a terrible thing. Okay, look. All of us today, we all struggle with our phones, how often we use them, and when we check them. Oh my, oh yes. I've hit the screen time cap every day for the last three years and counting. And it doesn't take much legwork to find research with some pretty unsavory results. Some studies have it as high as eight hours, others closer to three for the amount of time we spend on our phones each and every day. We're said to check them between 100 and 300 times a day. That's like once every four or five minutes. What's more, all of those averages are up from last year. Meaning, regardless of any flaws in a single study, the trend is we've never been on our phones more and it's getting worse. I mean, I know I sure am. And just looking around, that seems anecdotally true among the people I run into. In the stores you're at, when you go out to eat, walking outside, at the gym, hanging out with friends, it seems like wherever we are, as soon as there's a spare second, out come the phones. And uh, that might not be a good thing. At least not when it comes to our happiness and well-being. There's a link in the down there parts to some interesting information. This is why Ben and I think of our phones as the Demigorgon. Why the Demogorgon, you ask? Oh, so glad that you did. To start, from first edition through fifth, the Demogorgon has always had gaze attacks. Next, the Demogorgon has a corrupting influence on both environments and people. And lastly, it's chaotic evil, which as you'll come to see, is important. Okay, gaze attacks. The Demogorgon has three. It can beguile you, it can hypnotize you, and it can make you go crazy all just by looking at you. If you're within 120 feet and the Demogorgon turns one of its four abyssal eyes on you, that's a DC 23 wisdom save or else, friends. And the else in this case is being randomly stunned, charmed, or confused. And the best part? Demogorgon's gaze is a legendary action. Twice each and every round, Demogorgon can interrupt the initiative order and just decide to beguile or insanitize you. The Demogorgon corrupts. It has a few different ways it's able to transform people and environments. On the people front, get too close to the Demogorgon and it'll whap you with a tentacle. <laughs> One of them bad boys hits you, and that's going to be 3d12 plus 9 points of damage and a constitution save. DC 23, or that damage comes off the top of your total hit points. Life drain, baby. Demogorgon's tentacles literally rob you of your vitality. Ahem, <clears throat> and I quote, The region containing Demogorgon's lair is warped by his magic, creating one or more of the following effects. Morton Cannon's Tome of Foes, page 144. First, the land within a six mile radius becomes overpopulated with venomous lizards, snakes, and beasts. The closer you are to its lair, the worse it is. Within a mile of Demogorgon's home, even the most cuddly and sweet animals become violent and crazed. Rabid squirrels. Any humanoid who hangs out for an hour or more around or in Demogorgon's lair has to make a DC 23 wisdom save or descend into madness. Or Avernus. Or Avernus. Someone is plotting to kill me. I gotta get him first. You're the reason for all my problems. <gasps> There's so many voices. It's either my way or the highway. Wait, no, screw that. It's my way or I'll beat some sense into you. <gasps> Stay away from me. You're coming to take my things. Now, isn't that a lovely influence to have on you and your surroundings? Delightful. <laughs> Last but not least, the Demogorgon is chaotic evil, meaning it is individualistic and self-absorbed. Between the gaze attacks, corrupting influence, and its alignment, the Demogorgon is a good mental model for our robot phones. Gaze attacks? I mean, 
Look, the only times our phones have any power at all is when we look at them. You turn your phone off, you put it in another room, or you don't look at it at all, and you've given yourself advantage. But as soon as you gaze at your phone, voila, depending on what you find, maybe you're floored, stunned by something that happened, or what someone did or said. Or maybe what you see sends you spiraling into an outrage of uncertainty or even despair. And even if you're not beguiled or descending into madness, there's a good chance you could be confused. Mm. Who amongst us, I ask, has not picked up their phone, seen something, and then proceeded to doom scroll for 10 minutes? Or even just had a few minutes to kill and innocently opened up an app and proceeded to lose three hours playing Magic the Gathering Arena. Now, the corrupting influence. Venomous, enraged beasts, once calm and friendly creatures, become crazed and violent. So there have been times in history where civil discourse, mutual respect, and the acknowledging of differences was cool. Sadly, those times were before the internet. Now is not one of them. <laughs> Countries are more divided than ever. The way that many people feel about and treat people who are different, and the way they act toward them is far more antagonistic. I've never seen more ambient rage and venom in my life. Okay, like, is this all cell phones' fault? No, of course not. Singular causes rarely exist in a complex system. But I think it's fair to say the rise of cell phone use may be a contributing factor to the amounts of venom and rage around us. Then there is the mental effect of their extended use and exposure. Remember those types of madness the Demigorgon was able to inflict? We'll put them on the screen for you now. Just in case you've forgotten, we know you don't have an attention span, because we don't. Because your phone is killing you. Because your phone is slow. Paranoia. Shorter Oxford English Dictionary defines as mental illness characterized by delusions of persecutions, unwarranted jealousy, or exaggerated self-importance. Blaming all of your, your community, or your country's problems on someone else. The other. The sheer amount of information available to us at all times via our phones and disinformation and propaganda aside makes it hard to know what to think, believe, or who to even trust. The language used in media, social or otherwise, doesn't seem like it's gotten less violent in the last 15 years. Then there's feeling fiercely protective of what you have, what you believe you're entitled to, and comparing your mess to others' best. Like Venom and Rage, it seems there's a lot more ambient jealousy, scapegoating, fractured thinking, paranoia, and violence in our environment. Now, on to alignment. Oh man, you know I've been waiting for this one. You do love you some alignment, that's true. Demogorgon is chaotic evil. In Dungeons and Dragons, chaotic is shorthand for being independent and okay with breaking rules. Evil is shorthand for caring more about yourself and what you want than with what other people want. Chaotic is the opposite of lawful. Lawful is shorthand for liking rules and being pro-structure, pro-community, and pro-teamwork. Evil is the opposite of good. Good is shorthand for putting the well-being of others ahead of yourself and giving more than taking. Okay, experiment time. You can run this as a thought experiment in your head or simply keep this in mind the next time you are out and about. When someone picks up their phone and looks at it, what happens to their posture? What about their attention? Did their body expand and open up? Did they become more aware of the world around them? So next time you're with someone and they take out their phone, pay attention to the little things like that. So here's the deal. Choosing to spend time with people is a lawful action. Caring about the people in the group and the group itself is a good action. And the second you pull out your phone and look at it, you are being chaotic evil. If you're in a group of people, looking at your phone, by definition, is chaotic evil. Now, you are not chaotic evil, but the action you are choosing to take is. That is, unless you're using the phone to look something relevant up for the group. However, if what you're doing on your phone has nothing to do with the group and everything to do with you, that is chaotic evil. Chances are the reason you're looking at your phone when you're with other people is because you're more interested in what you've got going on than what's going on around you. Demogorgon. Now, why do this? Why make a video about your cell phone? 
because the way we think about things matters. Naming your phone the Prince of Demons will bring a new awareness. We're not dumb. We understand that our pocket supercomputers aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Dude, I hope not. Seriously, I have never gotten less lost in my life. Thanks, Google Maps. But these little guys are not your friend. No, they are your enemy. And not just any enemy, fucking Demigorgon. Unconvinced? Cue the laundry list. Demigorgon, like your cell phone, is immune to exhaustion provided you charge it. Telepathy at 120 feet. You know that thing knows what you're thinking. You see the ads every day. Able to innately cast fear. <laughs> None of that going around. Able to cast feeble mind. Pretty sure I'm dumber for having one. Able to cast project image. Phantom vibrates and rings. Anyone? You know what I'm talking about. Gaze attacks that hypnotize, confuse, and stun. Corrupting toxic influence on people and environments. Sucking your very will to live. Ambient jealousy, rage, aggression, blame, hate, paranoia, and envy. Accidentally makes taking chaotic evil actions way easier. Demogorgon. Demogorgon. Hey, thanks for checking out this video with us today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you give it the old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, along with a gameplay and sketches and all kinds of cool stuff here at the peak. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time right here at the peak. I sure am. And just <laughs> look, at, yeah. I sure am. <laughs> I'm getting worse. It's getting worse. I sure am. <laughs> and just, I think we just leave it on our like leg. Yeah, no, I will. I'm surprised I didn't take out the fucking mic pack. Demigorgon. <laughs> Microphone. <laughs> Able to cast feeble mind. Pretty sure I'm. I've become dumber. <laughs> Able. <sure> I'm dumber. <laughs> I'm Ben and that's Max. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> subscribe, like, and subscribe. Do all the YouTube things we're supposed to ask you to do that we're not very good at. I am a monster. You are a monster. In my pocket. You're a monster. Monster in my pocket. Underneath my bed. Something underneath my bed. <laughs> There's a monster in your pocket. <laughs> One underneath your bed. And not some run of the mill, that's your line. Demogordon's tent. <laughs> Demogordon. <laughs> Gonna win that big one of 500. <laughs> Which, when Demogorgon confuses you, really what it is does, what really what it is does. I I've, you, I've been able I, to skip that I know, the whole I know. I'm time. I'm so glad, I thought you were just being kind to me that you no, I, I think I did. Maybe Instead it was of conscious. normally berating me like you normally <laughs> stop hitting me. Find your peak. Peak, peak, peaks. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Pikachu. 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 Pikachu.